Hello everyone, it is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. We've got a bit of a different setup today because, um, and it's actually going to be a different setup like this for the next few months just because I have decided to move the spiders into my room for the winter um, because it's getting colder and while it wasn't so much a big problem in my little apartment that I was in last year, now that I've moved into a much bigger place, the regular living area that Spidey and Blinky usually are kept in is just way too big for us to heat and to keep at a nice temperature. So they've moved into my room for the next few months during the winter because it's much easier, easier for us to control the temperature in that room and to make sure that the spiders are comfortable. So that's how we are handling the winter. And that's why we're in this scenario. It's a little bit of an uncomfortable scenario. It's not as pretty as my living area that I had been filming in, but this is a little corner that they are staying in right now and it is much more comfortable for them and that's what really matters. So anyway, today we are going to talk about tarantula enclosures and really good decor for tarantula enclosures. I personally love talking about decor because I think tarantula owners are the most creative bunch when it comes to actually decorating. Um, we are not pet owners like specifically cat people or dog people or bunnies or anything like that. For those type of animals, um, a lot of their stuff comes ready made, like those really awesome scratching posts for cats, um, dog beds, they make all these beautiful things. But for tarantula owners, usually we are the ones who have to um, go through the trouble of finding the perfect enclosure and then having to worry about putting it together ourselves from scratch how to actually decorate the enclosure according to our spider's needs. And uh, over the last few weeks, um, I had been running a little giveaway contest. It was a tarantula enclosure contest. It's about to end actually, um, and as I'm fam filming this video, and I saw so many wonderful enclosures in it, and it just hit home that <laughs> tarantula owners are so creative when it comes to designing these homes. So I thought that I would like to just give some really cool ideas, um, give you a rundown of like the basics you'll need, but also showing you where you have some wiggle room and um, ways to actually be creative while giving your spiders the necessities. So once you get the enclosure that is really just the start, what you put in it is much more important. But however, regardless of whether you have an arboreal tarantula, a terrestrial tarantula like Spidey right here who's moving for everybody, saying hello, um, and or a tarantula that burrows, what you are going to need is just the basics, like you're going to need some sort of substrate, um, you're going to need a water dish, you're going to need some sort of hide or some place for them to retreat. And then you're also going to need some decor and how far you want to go with that is really up to you. But those are like the basics. And when we're talking about design, we want to make sure that it's functional for the tarantula, that they're going to be able to use these things safely, but also that they're beautiful because we're the ones who get to enjoy it as well. And so I'm going to be mentioning a few different ideas. Um, however, this video is connected to a blog post that I've created where I actually put specific items that I've looked on. All of them are Amazon finds um, because I really love Amazon. And there are links to the actual products. So I'm going to mention that I am an Amazon affiliate. I make a teeny tiny sling sized commission off of purchases if you use my link. You don't have to at the very least, whether you use my link or not, you will be able to find those things through the Amazon search. And for me, I always use Amazon. I get packages all the time just because I am a Prime member. So if you're a Prime member, this might be a really good option for you because these things will be really easy for you to find and fast for you to get. So the first thing I'd like to talk about is water dishes. Now a lot of us just use like, if we have a sling, we might use these really basic things like bottle caps or something really basic like Spidey, um, who just has like a regular water dish. But in looking uh, and doing research for this article on Amazon, I saw that there were actually some really cool things that are water dishes as well. And I'm thinking about giving Spidey a little upgrade in her um, next rehouse, which I'm going to be doing very soon and filming. So um, there are really wonderful things out there. I, I did see one that I've listed that is like this beautiful, um, kind of like this rocky display that's like connected to a water bowl. So I thought that was really cool. Um, you don't also do not have to use like these plastic dishes. They make ones of glass, which are really beautiful too. Um, so I, I would definitely recommend getting something that is both beautiful to look at because this is a very, well, it's a functional part of your tarantula's tank, but it's also something that can get a little grimy. Like, I don't know if you can see, but Spidey gets dirt in her water dish all the time. So taking into account, maybe getting a darker color so that it's not going to um, show a lot of dirt as your tarantula uses it. 
And then of course you have to keep these things clean and religiously too. Um, but getting something that you also enjoy looking at and something maybe that goes along with the decor, thinking about colors. Um, so it's nice to get something a little more decorative too. Spidey has had this water dish, which I got on Amazon for, since I got her, this was her first and only water dish so far. So I think it's time to give her an upgrade <laughs> for sure. But it's really lasted. It is not porous at all. Um, and it's been very easy to clean. So Amazon has a lot of really good options, which I've linked to. So there are cool options for water dishes, but there's a lot more when we get into things like hides and decor. A lot of people will do really basic things like Tupperwares for hides. Um, they'll use like those little, um, some people even use like flower pots for hides, which can be really cute as well as functional. But you can also get a little fancy. I've seen people use things like uh, fake animal skulls. Uh, there's these little like tribal huts for hides, which I've linked to. And I love that idea. Um, Spidey has been using her log, which I don't know if you can see, but she's had this log forever. That was one of her first tank decor uh, items as well. This is her, uh, I believe this is her second one. I've had Spidey for well over six or seven years now, I think maybe even more. I, lose count. I lost count after the first three, but she's had, um, this is only her second log, and I honestly didn't even have to get rid of her first log that she started out with, but I did it more as a precaution because I felt like it might have been getting a little bit moldy because some water had gotten in from water overflow in her tank. So um, I decided to just ditch it. I probably could have cleaned it, but I don't like to take chances. An overflow from her water dish hasn't really been so much of a problem uh, the last few tank changes. So um, I've just kept this log and it's been really, really good. Um, Spidey also does have a little glass area in her tank, which is not really a hide because it doesn't provide any darkness since it's clear. But I do think it gives her like this little cozy feeling, um, which I think she she can somewhat sense that she's enclosed and I think she really likes that because she goes in there all the time. So hides can be a log like Spidey has. It can also be a little coconut hide. It can be a flower pot or a container. This is where the you're kind of limitless in what kind of creativity you want to use. So that's really fun. Definitely give those links a look because there's a lot of really cool ideas that I honestly wouldn't have even thought of and I'm thinking about actually getting one myself. And then we get into the next thing, we get into decorative plants, more decor items. Bark, especially if you have an arboreal tarantula that likes to climb, you're going to need some sort of plant or bark so that they can get that height that they need, that they can practice their climbing skills because that's really healthy for them. And I like Amazon for this because um, not only like if you go into the pet section, the options are plentiful, but also you can also go into like the craft sections of Amazon too and get even more ideas for like plants. And I do see people using live plants. You definitely can do that. I think that's really popular with like bioactive enclosures and things like that, which is wonderful. I personally am not, um, I am not comfortable with using live plants for me. I kind of tend to be very overly cautious sometimes, but I get really worried about things like parasites, things like uh, pesticides and things like that. So if you're gonna go live, I would definitely take that stuff into account. I have always felt safer using decorative plants and then just like really cleaning them and making sure that I can get any sort of residue or wax or chemicals off to the best of my ability in case anything happen between the warehouse and my home. Spidey, uh, right now she has these fake succulent plants which have worked really well for her. I used to have, she first, when I first got her, I got her this really tall um, decorative plant that was like, uh, like the silky fabric and she hated it. She tore it out. She trampled it, did not like it at all. So for a while she didn't have any decorative plants, but um, these succulent plants, which I'll link to, they actually um, have lasted. She hasn't bothered them, I think because they're a different material or because they're maybe not as frilly or long. They, she likes them. She doesn't dig them out. She just kind of ignores them. So that's been something that I've incorporated into her tank for um, the last year or so, and it's actually worked out pretty well. Um, there's a lot of really cool fake succulent plants on Amazon if you guys are into that, and they're very cheap. You can get a bunch of them for like nothing, so that's really cool. And then you can also do really other stupid stuff, like I always have, and people comment on the fact that I have this ping pong ball in Spidey's tank. I think that's, that is one of her decor items. I think that's one of like her little play items. She does interact with it sometimes. I wouldn't say she's necessarily playing with it, but 
she's acknowledging its presence sometimes. So you can give them little things like that, give them some enrichment. She has also had a bottle cap, which I think is still in there, but it's buried. She also has a jarlet in there, and these are things that she does do things with every once in a while. So sometimes I just like to experiment, and as long as it's safe, clean, and it's not posing any threat or discomfort to the spider, you're going to be fine. You can kind of just see what they do with it. You can always get just as creative as you want. Um, I have linked a bunch of other decorations that I never would have even thought of but I just kind of started going crazy searching especially since I started doing this enclosure design contest I've seen people do things like put silk flowers in their tarantula hangs or put these like fake skulls that I mentioned before or like fake dinosaur heads and things like that it is so cool um, I've even seen people do things like little fairy gardens in their tarantula tanks and oh my gosh those things are so pretty and um, I think it just provides a a lot more enrichment to the tarantula enclosure and for the tarantula so I'm liking a bunch of that stuff these are not things that I have tried specifically but they're seriously inspiring me to so I am going to be shooting a tutorial video for Spidey's um, tank cleaning really really soon and I think that before I do that I'm gonna have to do some real investing and let you guys know about my experience with that in redesigning her new home because um, she's been on very basic kind of design and I would really like to give her something a little bit more special especially since she's being on YouTube more. <laughs> I will keep you guys updated on that. You'll also see that tutorial soon in the next few weeks. The last thing that I should mention, these toys and these enclosures will all need to be cleaned regularly. You cannot just clean the enclosure when you're doing the tank cleaning. All the toys, the plants, the everything, the water dishes need to be cleaned thoroughly so that we're not contaminating the, the new clean tank with any mold or parasites or anything that might have happened. So um, I do use a tank or enclosure cleaner called um, Wipeout. It's by ZooMed and uh, I'm gonna link that in that blog post as well. Um, you do not have to use that. Before I was using that, I was just using like disinfectant soap and water and things like that. So that is totally optional. Um, but if you are looking for a tank cleaner, I recommend that one. And that is it guys. Check out that blog post. There's a lot of stuff in there. There's probably going to be at least one thing that you like or need um, or that your tarantula will really enjoy. And let me know what you think of the list. And if there is any other like beautiful decor item or um, tank hack that you have when you're designing your enclosure, let me know because I will be doing Spidey's tank very, very soon and I'm going to be completely redesigning it, getting her some new decor. So I would love to know what you might recommend or what maybe you might even like to see in Spidey's tank out of that list I provided and give me some inspiration and guidance. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know below. Um, I'm also providing a, a bunch of links, uh, not only to that blog post, but also to things that I have specifically in Spidey's tank in case you're interested um, in any like succulent plants or like that glass terrarium that I described. And if you're also interested in tarantula care in general, I do have a tarantula guide, which you can find on my website, tarantulaheaven.com. Thank you so much, guys. I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Now we're getting into Christmas, so I hope that you guys are enjoying this holiday season and keeping your spiders warm, even if you have to put them in your bedroom for a few months. <laughs> I will see you soon in the next video.